Good morning, friends. As always, uh, with great gratitude uh, to be alive, and of course, all of you feeling the same as me. And I think that we are now in this uh, September September month, who is uh, very interesting. What is happening in all all around the world, especially with all the rains. Well, in this time, I we are really more in the next uh, fall equinox which is coming, so this time the Mayan updates are in relation with one question. Uh, we are going to do uh, in the next weeks a Mayan uh, seminar about the Mayan calendar. But you know, when, when I went as a study, I, I, I questioned myself, you know, how can I prove that the Mayans were truth in their calculations, in their, uh, in their Mayan calendar? How can I prove it? Because I, I know for different, you know, conducts, you know, but how can I, I prove it? So this is the, the, the question, you know, how, how can we test that the Mayan calendar is truth? And then uh, the answer, you know, that I have, you know, in this moment is, is this, is precisely through the Maya astronomical living clocks. What does it mean? Does it mean that we have in the Yucatan around 2,000 Mayan ceremonial centers with um, uh, around each one side with 500, 500 pyramids or temples. But the main ones like Chichen Itza are the cosmic universities and especially Uxmal, Chichen Itza and another ones are living clocks who shows actually you know, the position of the Mayan calendar in terms of the equinoxes and solstices and suns and heat. So these are living clocks. And this is why it's so important that when we study something, we have the possibility that in this case in the Yucatan to test that the Mayan astronomical living clocks are the proof, the living proof that the Mayans were right in their calculations about the equinoxes, solstices, and sun's clocks, plus, you know, the meaning of these different things. So I invite you, you know, taking a moment for this to participate, you have the feeling or the, you want to know more about the Mayan calendar. And I invite you because we are going to discuss very important things, the meaning, the sacred meaning of the Mayan calendar, the sacred meaning of the months, days, but this is something very important because it's going in relation with your actual moment of your life, how to use the Mayan calendar to evolve to another level of vibration, frequency, and consciousness. So for these Mayan updates, I got this, you know, these um, five symbols. These five symbols, the first one represents Kan, who means sacred the, the sacred wisdom, sacred knowledge. The second one, you know, is Chikshan, who means to get the pearl. The third one is Kimil, who means through your inner transformation. The fourth one is Manik, you know, the link with the creator's spirit. And the fifth one is Lamad, who means the union, you know. So what does it mean? that through the sacred knowledge, we can get the pearl through our inner transformation to link with the, to link with the spirit who is going to allow to make the union internal and external with our divine creator. So this is quite interesting because these five elements, these five um, symbols, Nahuales or Abuelos, how the grandmothers, in grandfather's call that represents a uh, date who you can you can see now through the equinox who's coming the fall equinox who is represented uh, this is one photo of the great um, the great moments that we have lived in chichen itza in the moments of the equinoxes when we see the seven the seven triangles uh, formed by the descent of the serpent of light Google can, you know. So these two photos show this is a living cosmic clock. The living cosmic clock that is in Yucatan is showing that the Mayans were correct 
and they talk about the astronomical position of our planet in relation with the solar system, our sun, the sun in Pleiades, the sun in Orion, and the sun Cyrus. So this is an amazing because the Mayans did it all with the intention that we activate in this time our consciousness through the Mayan calendar and understanding the spiritual meaning and how to use it in our actual moment. This is the moment when all us are called to manifest to the Mayan sacred knowledge that we are ready to receive the sacred wisdom. How? Changing our frequency, our vibration to another level of consciousness. And this is why in this time, the fall equinox is giving us the opportunity to receive them. So welcome to this moment with the five uh, symbols represented with the sacred knowledge to get the pearl to your inner process of transformation, to reconnect with the spiritual force, the strength of God, and to make again a link internally and externally with the forces of the creation. So this is this Mayan update related, connecting with these five spiritual days and all the process that is coming in the next uh, days is September 21. And we have a beautiful program to do all this magnificent for the ones who open their hearts and open their minds to receive it. We're going to do now our meditation. Close your eyes for a moment. Father, Mother, out of the sky, out of the earth, thank you for all the guidance, the assistance, the knowledge, the wisdom that you deposit in the hands of the Masters of the Light in the Yucatan and allow them to build up this magnificent cosmic clock, a living cosmic clock on the Kukulkan's pyramid at Chichen Itza, who shows now that the truth works in the Mayan teachers, the astronomical manifestations in the Mayan calendar in a perfect alineation with the equinoxes and solstices and the sun zenith. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please touch the, the, the hearts and the minds of my brothers and sisters who are looking these Mayan updates to all participants to reconnect again with these precious moments where the cosmos is playing a great role in our lives. The mantra that is connected with this sacred knowledge is the mantra Khan. The mantra Khan means serpent of light. Kukul Khan is sending, descending in this time, in this moment, to activate the five symbols of the inner process, to activate our consciousness to another level. Awareness. Awareness to the sacred knowledge. And this is the mantra that we're going to use, is the mantra Khan. K A N Khan 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 
and said, our son is like a serpent in the sky, in process, in movement, in motion, following the sound of the Pleiades, Alcyon, who is connected with the sun in Orion, the sun in Cyrus. And all this is part of the great Mayan cosmovision connecting with their sacred calendar. This is our time to all, to all the ones who connect with the Maya knowledge to receive, to receive the sacred knowledge. This is the time that we need to use the Mayan calendar to evolve to another level of consciousness. They are not only symbols, they are energetical symbols who ascended our consciousness to the level of the high frequency in connection with the cosmos, with the sun, with the moon, as a balance with us. Thank you, thank you, heart of the sky, touch and heal the hearts and minds of the bodies of all the participants in these Mayan updates, extended to the planet, extended to the world, extended to the people. Maya, as I commented to you, means chosen one. Do you want to be a chosen one? Then work in your inner process, in your inner transformation to reach the connection with the spirit and finally relink again with the greatest force, father and mother. the sky, heart of the earth, bless, bless all the hearts of the participants in this moment and prepare all of them for the next important events connecting with the Mayan calendar in the fall equinox. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We send love and light, healing, harmony, balance, abundance, peace, kindness to all the planet, to all the world, to all living beings. So we eat, so it is, it is done. So we eat, so it is, it is done. So we eat, so it is, it is done. In La Kedge, you can breathe now, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Say thank you to your personal teachers, your spiritual guides for these moments to connect the Mayan great significance in these days. Thank you. Slow open your eyes. Last comment is that uh, if we still have these amazing temples and pyramids like the one is the Kukulkan's pyramid at Chichen. You know, all around the planet they found, you know, pyramids now in China, in Egypt, in Mexico, you know, in Japan, in many other places in Yugoslavia. 
But this is uh, important because it represents that our level of consciousness needs to go in, in other level. We, we just need to arise our awareness to another level. And one of the keys we found is precisely to study and to practice the Mayan calendar with the different beautiful positions in the equinoxes and solstices. So we invite you to receive our salutation in La Quetz, Adakem.